This video explains how to fix the error message data frame object is not callable in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So in this case, I'm creating a data frame called data. And I'm also printing this data frame below the code box, as you can see here. And as you can see, we have created a new data frame containing six rows and three columns, which are called x1, x2, and x3. Now, let's assume that we want to extract one of these columns and perform a certain calculation. So in this case, I want to calculate the variance of the column x3. Then we might try to apply the code that you can see in the third code box. So in this case, I'm trying to extract the column x3. And then I'm trying to apply the var function to this column to calculate the variance. However, as you can see below the code box, the error message data frame object is not callable has been returned. And the reason for that is that we are not extracting our column properly. Because in this case, we have tried to use parentheses to extract our column. However, if we want to extract a certain column from a data frame, we need to use square brackets, as you can see in the next line of code. So in the fourth code box, you can see that I'm using square brackets to extract the column x3. And then I'm applying the var function to this data frame column to calculate the variance. And as you can see below the code box, a valid output is returned. So in this specific example, the variance of our column x3 is 10.266. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.